Hi, welcome to Melissa is a Dork. I'm Melissa and I'm a dork. Today on Melissa is a Dork, we are going to do a little bit of a celebration of my birthday. Are you filming stuff for your show? I sure am. Hi. Hi. Hello everyone. But also, this is a time where I'm going to be really open and honest with you guys. So something that probably most of you don't know about me is that up until Saturday, my birthday, um, I was a smoker. I've been smoking since I was 16 years old. I was such a good kid. Like I always asked permission to do everything. I couldn't do anything wrong. Um, and I wanted that thing that made me the rebel. Also, a lot of my family smoked and I think part of me felt I was gonna be more connected to them if I also did this. And then I had this other weird part, which is that I was highly, highly allergic to cigarette smoke, especially as a child. I was severely asthmatic on a nebulizer, inhalers, and what have you, and um, all of it due to smoking and uh, in my family. So there was a part of me that wanted to know what was this thing that was so powerful that uh, my family wouldn't stop for me. Lastly, this one's the silliest, honestly, but I told, I think it was like my excuse to myself, but I told myself that I wanted to learn how to smoke um, so that if I got a part in a movie where I had to smoke a cigarette, I didn't look like um, some of the people I'd seen in movies that would do it and you could totally tell they weren't smokers and they just look fake. Um, so I convinced myself that I was gonna do it only so that I could look like I knew what I was doing and then I could just, you know, stop doing it. The reality is, is that um, I became very attached to cigarettes. Like I identified with it. I was a smoker. I was a smoker smoker. I, I loved every part of it. I'm not a quitter. I remember having a conversation with my grandparents. Um, we used to talk a lot about my inventions, the ideas and craziness. And my grandfather and I were, were talking about how great it would be if I could just come up with a healthy cigarette. Anyway, uh, God rest. Both my grandparents' souls, they're gone and uh, their losses due to smoking. Um, ironically, the day that my grandmother died, um, I came out to my, I was working at One Life and I came out to my car afterwards and my car had been broken into and the only thing that was stolen out of it was a carton of cigarettes. So that tells you anything. I've been getting the sign for a long time that it was time to quit. This birthday was going to be a new beginning for me. And I think any of you have been following me on social media, you've seen um, some of my mini blogs where I've been talking about this reformation that I'm going through and transformation that I'm going through. I think the biggest thing is that I'm trying to find all the things that I'm using as crutches or that I'm relying upon that are things that I'm hiding behind. I'm trying to get rid of those because I want to find out who the better part of me is. And I realized finally that I certainly can't be the better part of me if I'm choking and dying and coughing to death. And I normally wouldn't share something like this. I mean, I've definitely quit before, so this isn't like something I like telling people because it's one of those things of like, okay, accountability, and now all of you know. But here's the deal. Um, I am actually really committed to it, um, but it's not just about me. It's um, about all of you who might be struggling with this same um, affliction, I guess we'll call it. Um, and I want you to know that you're not alone. Um, I can 100% tell you that the first, um, I wouldn't say the first day, but more the second day was really hard. Um, and it wasn't like the, the physical thing that people talk about. It wasn't like I was having like some, I don't know, like I wasn't having physical withdrawal symptoms. It was more of just like an agitation every 15 minutes or so of like my brain thinking, you know, almost out of habit, like, oh, well, you're going to have a sick oh, no, you're not gonna have a cigarette. And then that irritation would just come of like, oh, what am I gonna do? Um, here's the cool part though. So um, remember the thing that I told you about with my grandparents and talking about this healthy cigarette. So um, if any of you know me, you know how I am kind of a big love of startup companies. And um, another friend of mine um, started up this company called Kinnon and it's portable aromatherapy diffusers and they're really they're really cool the second i saw them i was like what this is amazing so basically what they are is essential oils and these little like sticks so like you can see here 
basically there's three different kinds there's relax recover and um focus you'll know my love for things that make your brain do good things and work better blah 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 as you remember with hackers fruit so when i heard about this i was like this sounds amazing tell me more and so of course the first thing i had to do is i had to try it i tried it out and um 100 works so focus 100 like gave me focus it gave me energy um definitely kind of like felt like i was like ready to go and really works well with coffee which is great because i drink a lot of coffee uh our cover has really awesome mint um taste it's from eucalyptus and sage and peppermint so it's got like a really yummy fresh feeling um i personally use it just sometimes when i want to like freshen my breath but i don't feel like chewing gum <laughs> so it works great for that um but it's also supposed to be there for like congestion and things and it definitely has helped um <clears throat> and I'll, I'll explain that in a moment um and then relax totally just takes the edge off what's happened with me quitting smoking so i have one of those um vape pen fix i think it's like phix i was going to use that as my you know all right if i need something i've got to fix literally but then i just had this idea and i was like you know what i want to see if i can do this without any nicotine because i really 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 want to just clear my body of these toxins i wanted to see because i like to torture myself if i could do this <laughs> on my own what better tool to use for the oral fixation than my kinnon pins they're good for you and but they'll also like help with that whole like oh, i gotta put something in my mouth i really Kind of leaned on focus pen and the recover pen focus specifically because i definitely feel stimulated from it from it i also like to recover for just something to kind of change up the flavor a little bit um i have not had any nicotine this is not i'm not actually trying to plug him in but i'm telling you because i like to talk about things that work and it's 100 helped me through getting uh through this process and i have to say like i'm doing pretty well um i've had my moments where I 100% feel um, agitated or just like, oh, I, I, I need something. But in reality, it only lasts for a few minutes and I really don't need anything. If I really need something, it's probably because I want to chew on something or whatever. And that's just part of the, the habit of always having something. Um, I like to do a lot of work from home and I do a lot of it on my computer and I do a lot of it at my table. And that means I'm sitting outside and I was just like chain smoking all day. Um, so it's just something I'm kind of used to doing when I'm sitting at home. I mean, when I'm out and I'm with friends or I'm, I'm busy doing other things, I'm not smoking. So obviously we know I can do it physically. Um, the question is just changing, how do I change my habits, especially at home or in the car or wherever it was that I was smoking primarily. Um, and yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at. And I'm, I'm really just telling you because I want you to know, like if you're struggling with this kind of thing, I totally get it and I'm here for you. Like I, I'm going through it. Um, I'm also using you guys to make me accountable because I really actually want this to work this time. And um, I need to, you know, I remember the day that my sister found out I was smoking. She's 13 years younger than me and she was a little girl, came over to my mom's and spent the night and I um, went outside to smoke and I lied about it when I came back in because I didn't want her to, you know, I didn't, I was, I didn't want to be a bad role model. <laughs> of course, I come back in, I'm just a liar, so. And I realized that that kind of set this path of like me kind of having to hide from people and feeling shame. And I don't want to live in shame anymore. And I'm sure there's a lot of you who don't either. So I'm here to tell you like we can do this and if I can do it, which anybody who knows me, like this is a big deal. If I could do it, you can do it. So hang in there. My friends here are surprising me for my birthday and we're going to, what is it, just say? Malibu Cafe. Look how pretty this is. And we're just in a parking lot. So you haven't been here? I have not been Yay! here. Yay! Thank you so much. You're welcome. This is the heavenly. Hi. This is the valet guy at Malibu Cafe. Yeah. I get a what? Oh, yeah! Yeah, I'm awesome. awesome! Thanks for the tip. There's a boat. <gasps> There's a boat? boat? I've never done it, but... What? It's just called Lake... See, it says Lake Love. <gasps> Look at this, you guys! It's a yacht club. <laughs> it's missing the boats. <laughs> Our mission is to obtain the boat. Yeah. Bring it back. Yeah. You guys, look how amazing yeah. this is! Yeah. See on camera. Yeah, yeah. Oh. that's beautiful. Oh. Wow. Oh 
a secret pathway everywhere. Yeah, I bet. Guys, look at this, look at this. A, a pathway. I love pathways, I don't know if you can tell. Shut the front door. All these activities. <laughs> what is this? This is amazing. Say hi, Donna. Hey. Say hi, David. Hello. <laughs> Oh. We're going into the secret lodge. I don't know what's gonna be waiting for us. Get ready, you guys. I want this for my patio. I know. What? I love bridges. Totally. My amazing friends, thank you so much. Happy birthday. Thank you. I love you. Love you. How old are we? Old enough. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Yes, thank you. Enjoy. Happy birthday. 100 and 20. For celebrating my birthday with me. This is a really big special one. Um, God bless and I'll see you guys next time.